an army of children are at the heart of the mining production. Wearing no shoes and in the most wretched conditions, Dorsan is ordered to retrieve the sack he's forgotten. There's an urgency now. The rains make this dangerous work even more risky. And Dorsan's told in no uncertain terms he risks a beating if he messes up again. Dorsan, with Richard beside him, have worked all day. They're eight and 11 years old. Even this punishing work doesn't guarantee enough for food. Dorsan hasn't eaten for two days now. This is what helpless looks like. And he's one of the children making millions for multinational corporations in America and China whilst they suffer in squalor. For this, they'll get maybe eight British pence a day. Hi guys, welcome to the Collective Corner. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit serious. It's just going to be a quick video. I just hope this video gets shared because we need to do something about the situation in Congo. A lot of people are falsely being displaced in their own country because of mine expansions. All the things that are used, the minerals that are used for iPhones, laptops and stuff like that. Congo is rich of that mineral so a lot of the big firms like iPhone, Dell, all the big names that you can think of. That's why a lot of people are, for are falsely being displaced. A lot of people are getting killed. A lot of women and children are getting raped. You need to do something about it. And if you're on TikTok and you have a big following or if you don't have a following, there is a sound and a video that you can use. I will link it up here. I feel like you're abusing me. All of those lies get to my head. And also when it comes to Gaza and the Palestinians, there are also sounds and effects that you can use on TikTok to raise awareness. And also when you use the songs, the owner of the song will then donate the money they make of the song. And a lot of the beat music has actually got, gotten a lot of views. So the owners of the songs are starting to make money. So do that as well. And also share as much as you can on social media and on Facebook. But I just want to read out loud what is going on in Congo. And this is what, because, guys, my English, like, I know that I speak really fluently, but, you know, I just want to get it right. But this says that in, there has been forced displacement of populations. These features have not changed significantly since the end of the Congo Wars in 2003. DRC is among the five poorest nations in the world. In 2022, nearly 62 of Congolese, around 60 million people, lived on less than 2.15 dollars a day and i want to read out this article because it really just boils it everything down the democratic republic of congo drc the congo experienced a spike in violence in the latter months of 2023 clashes involving militant groups over territory and natural resources extrajudicial killings by security forces political violence and rising tensions with neighboring countries have contributed to high rates of civilian casualties and displacement. Following years of widespread protests against peacekeeping forces, which have been accused of abusing civilians and labeled ineffective by officials, Kinshasa ordered international and regional contingents to leave the country. The drawdown of foreign forces is planned to coincide with a highly contested presidential election in December 2023. Violence in the Congo's resource-rich eastern provinces also shows no signs of slowing as the conflict dynamics change rapidly. In October, the an envoy to the Great Lakes region raised alarms about a potential direct DCC-Rwanda confrontation, citing a military buildup on the longtime adversary's shared border. In addition to reports of mounting civilian casualties in eastern Congo, the UN declared that the number of internally displaced people had reached a record high of 6.9 million as fighting renders a growing part of the country unsafe for civilians. This is really, really sad. And the saddest part is, we're not we stuff like this, because Congo is really big, really, really big, and they have a lot of minerals that they could make billions of. So when people, especially growing up, I always heard like, Africa is poor, Africa, Africa is poor. Like, Africa is not poor. Africa is so rich. It's just in the hands of the wrong people. And if everything was right and the richness of Africa and money went into the right hands and to the African people, the Africa would look so different. Like, it would look so much different today than what it is. And Congo is like a great example because it's such a rich country. It's so big. There's so many people. And yeah. It's just really, really sad. So yeah, so if you guys want to support 
and you don't have money to support like different organizations as I said go, go and find the sound on TikTok to use them to support Congo but also also Gaza and share as much as you can on Instagram as well yeah share this video if you find it good and you learn something from this video share this video as well we need to raise awareness about these issues because if we collectively do something about it then there's gonna be actions even with Starbucks like the way that people boycott Starbucks I've never been a buyer of Starbucks but Starbucks has really gone down when it comes to like sales and stuff like that so it really shows that we can really do something about it so yeah that was it for this video I hope you guys liked it even though it's really, really sad but and also all the kids being used is is horrible yeah okay see you in my next video bye The Democratic Republic of Congo experienced a spike in violence in the later months of 2023. Classes involving militant groups over territory and natural resources, extrajudicial killings by security forces, political violence, and rising tensions with neighboring countries have contributed to high rates of civilian casualties and displacement. Following years of widespread protests against peacekeeping forces, which have been accused of which have been accused of abusing civilians and labeled in effect and labeled ineffective by officials, Kinshasa's orders international and regional contingents to leave the country. Oh my god. Okay. Which have been accused of abusing civilians and labeled ineffective by officials, Kinshasa ordered international and regional contingents to leave the country. 
the ground down the dry down of flowing forces is placed right, the dry down of flowing forces is planned to coincide with a highly contested presidential election in December 2023. Violence in the Congo's resource-rich eastern provinces also shown no signs of slowing as the conflict dynamics change rapidly. In October, the UN envoy to the Great Lakes region raised alarms about a potential direct DST around the confrontation, citing military buildup on the longtime adversaries' shared border. In addition to the reports of mounting civilian casualties in Eastern Congo, 